If you are interested in Capture One, this is the last week to get Capture One for Fuji and Capture One for Sony for 50% less. Check out more information in the description below. And during the checkout, please use the code MING to support my YouTube channel. All right, without further ado, enjoy the video. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It's great to see you. Today we are at the west side of Colorado. We are in Grand Junction and I'm gonna stay here for two nights to explore Colorado National Monument. I have been here before, but I never got a chance to really explore this park. That's why I'm here. Why Colorado National Monument? When you think about Colorado, you probably will think about those mountains, those 14ers. They are really beautiful. But at the border between Utah and Colorado, you will also see something very different, some fantastic rock formation that you can find here in Colorado National Monument. So, you know, just change, uh, change the view a little bit. That's why I'm here. I'm gonna shoot sunrise, sunset, and I'm gonna hike during the day, do some location scouting during the day. Right now, it's about one hour before the sunset. It's my first day and I'm here uh, preparing to shoot the sunset. I haven't found any composition yet. I'm hoping to get a wide-angle shot. I have my Fuji X-H1 in a 10 to 24 millimeter at four lens, and I'm still looking for a composition. I wish I have some foreground and a background and then some clouds in the sky. I do have some clouds in the sky right now, so I'm hoping those clouds can give me really nice colors during the sunset. All right, I'm gonna walk around and continue to find my composition. All right, I think I have found my composition for tonight and it's gonna be a vertical composition because I think only shooting vertical, I can emphasize the foreground and middle ground and the clouds in the sky and then remove the dead space on both sides because there is not much going on. And for the foreground, I have rocks and I have uh, a tiny little tree on the rocks, which I really like about because it gives me the uh, separation, separate the tree from the uh, from the rock, and it gives me a little bit different color, the green color to work with in post. And then the middle ground is the main point of interest, which is the unique rock formation over there. And then I have clouds in the sky. And for shooting this, I need to do focus stacking and exposure bracketing at the same time. So first I focused on the foreground and then I changed my aperture to f8 and then I change my exposure compensation to be negative one. Then I exposure, I expo I make three exposures, negative two, negative one, and then the normal exposure. Then I change my focus point to the middle point, and then I make three exposures again, the negative two, the negative one, and then the normal exposure. The reason is that the foreground and the middle ground is kind of separated. And I want to I want to have everything in focus, and then the sky is relatively bright compared to my foreground. So I, I I want to have all the details in the sky. That's why I also need to do exposure bracketing. And another thing I want to mention for shooting vertical composition, I really like Fuji cameras because it allows me to uh, flip the screen up when shooting vertical composition. I think that's very convenient. All right, I already got a couple of shots and right now it's about 20 minutes before the sunset and I'm still waiting for the sun to set and I, I want to see if the clouds will turn into uh, any colors during the sunset. Thank you. 
This is the second day I'm here shooting the sunrise. I arrived here about one hour before the sunrise and then I started uh, trying to find the composition for this morning. And I found a couple compositions. The first composition I found, I used a little tree as my foreground, but then there is a dead tree around the other corner, which I don't like and I can't get rid of it. So eventually I moved around and then eventually I set up my camera, set up my tripod on a huge rock facing downwards. And I used part of the rock as my foreground and then I used the rock, the unique rock formation as my middle ground and then I have the, the, the city and the sky as my background. This morning it was pretty cool. I got some clouds in the sky before the sunrise which gives me color and the texture in the sky. I really like it. Again, I'm shooting a wide angle Fuji X-H1 and a 10 to 24 millimeter ultra wide angle zoom. And I set up my camera a little bit low at first so I can, so I can have foreground, uh, the rock as my foreground and the middle ground, background all in the frame. And then I also used focus stacking because I, I'm, I was really close to the foreground. And also three exposures to capture the entire dynamic range. Hey guys, how do you like my hat? Because the last time when I was hiking on 4th of July trail, I got a really bad sunburn. So I recently got this hat. Anyway, right now I am near the visitor center from the north entrance, I believe. And according to the map, there should be a trail around this area. And that is what I'm going to take a look and I'm doing some location scouting for uh, for sunset today. I think I just found the parking lot. I parked over there but I haven't found the trailhead so still walking around the parking lot to see where's the trailhead. All right I think I have found it. I think that's the trailhead. Let's go. Sunscreen, that's important. <laughs> 